It's an honor to have you here. This is McCook's Mr. Bill, getting in my 30 minutes of biking. You're here for a story, okay? Back in 1973, my wife and I got married, and in the winter of 73-74, it was one of the worst winters we had that I can remember, of just storm after storm after storm. One of them was a real bad blizzard, I kid you not. And it even pushed clear down into Kansas and in the interstate down there. A young couple had left their home there and they were headed out to Colorado Springs. The, uh, the, the young man and young woman were going to the academy out there at Colorado Springs. Their parents didn't worry about them though because they had a four-wheel drive. And so they were uh, heading out there and of course along the way though they ran off the road and of course they were stranded. They didn't bring enough clothing to even begin to try to keep warm and the vehicle messed up quick enough that they uh, you know didn't get couldn't get started again and the, the tailpipe got plugged all like everything that could go wrong did and those two froze to death along that interstate highway there and they were found the next day then by the road crew and they went down a few more miles and here's a van now that van was owned by a guy that we knew I knew he uh, was part of the Black Powder Club and he'd come up and shoot up here and quite often and he got uh, ran off the road too with his just an old van but unlike uh, the young couple he had a heavy duty sleeping bag in the back of his van so he just you know put every bit of clothing on he could and crawled inside that sleeping bag he didn't have any any other heat in that place but that and yet he did quite well he did quite well and survived. And when the road crew come up, they figured he was going to find another dead body. And as they were tapping on the window and trying to look in the window, he stuck his head up and said, what do you need? What do you need? And so needless to say, I'm hoping that you will use a little common sense in the wintertime and not just have a little flimsy blanket in there and say you're safe from winter storms or safe from freezing. Throw a sleeping bag in there. You can make room for it. Or a heavy blanket if you don't have a sleeping bag. And uh, nowadays they got hand warmers that would go a long ways to keeping you from freezing in a situation like that and buy you a good 6 to 10 hours, maybe even 20 hours. And for less than 20, no more than $50 for sure, uh, you could protect yourself and maybe save your life. Maybe save the lives of your loved ones. And so keep that in mind. Every vehicle should have safety equipment and cold weather equipment to keep you going when things go wrong. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. I want to see you in 2013. So stick around.